Hello everybody. Well, it is Christmas time to decorate. Well, I just showed you my fallscape and I'm really late on everything. I'm not one of those traditional YouTube gal decorating early. Uh, I'll try to do that next year. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm not too much of a festive girl in decorating for holidays, especially Christmas. I kind of struggle a little bit more during this time but I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna redecorate my center table here excuse all the other mess behind me and let's go ahead and jump in and do that okay so we're gonna come back in with the same the same uh, mirror here and we're gonna go ahead and upside I mean go ahead and decorate this piece I don't have any Windex right now so let's just pretend that this mirror is wiped down and cleaned up but I'm gonna come in and I want to add touches of red and this is just a vintage encyclopedia that I have and has all these pretty old pages in there but I'm gonna go ahead and put this down as my base here and then I have this wreath here and it's kind of a sagey green now I did have some Christmas wreaths that I purchased a few years back that I can't find so I'm gonna come in with this and that's gonna go on our top here and the next thing I'm gonna come in is um, pretty glass cloche here and I think I got this at Target many 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 moons back <laughs> years ago so i'm gonna go ahead and use this as well but what we're gonna put in there is this little statue and if you saw some of my home decor this was in my bathroom but we're gonna go ahead and pull her out and place her in the center here and then i rolled up some little scrap music sheets here with some red ribbon and that's gonna go in here as well just kind of leaning with her and then I wish I had some fairy lights, but I don't. But I'm gonna come in and cover her with this pretty glass cloche. And kind of, let's position it this way. And if you saw last week's video, I made some of these ornaments to use in my home. And I'm just going to add this little piece hanging from the top. Now I'm going to come in with this tree. Now this tree is still on my site, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in my home for now. And if somebody purchases it, I'll go ahead and replace that. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and add that here. Now I want to bring another white piece here. So let's go ahead and find some. I also have this little angel piece. This is also on my site. So if somebody purchases it, we'll go ahead and change on this lonely bottled brush tree in my stash. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of plop that tree in with the angels there because I like elements of brass, I'm gonna come in with this little vintage music box and place her there. And I have one more roll of music sheet to just add here somewhere. Okay, so I didn't like the other tree there so I'm gonna come in with this this is like an angel pot that I created DIY from an upcycle thrifted pot use some moldings here and some textured paint and then I added a little tree here so I'm gonna go ahead and add that there
Okay guys, another thing I'm gonna tackle is that mantle or shelf above my chalkboard. Let's see what we can go ahead and transform that into and hopefully, it's probably gonna take me a while, I'm gonna take breaks in between so I don't get so fatigued, but let's go ahead and see what we can do there. For this piece, I'm just going to come in with things that I have. I'm just going to look around my house and incorporate them into this top ledge here for Christmas. And hopefully later, if I can go somewhere and add a few extra pieces. Now these little shoes here on my site, you can still purchase them. But for now, we're going to just put them in this decor because they're just on a shelf either way in my kitchen. So now they're just going to go up here instead. So I am incorporating all my little white dishes and going around my house and picking up and bringing in these little white elements and stacking some more red books on the end. And all these pieces here basically on this shelf are thrifted except for the greenery. Of course, it's from Hobby Lobby. I'm just coming in with some little bottle brush trees and adding them into the white and I only had that one and I think I'm trying to switch out these other white pieces here because I want the height to be a little bit different one lower than the other but all of these seem to be all the same size but I'm going to just go ahead and work with that and now I'm coming in with just a little piece of greenery it's like a mistletoe I think I got from Target a while ago and maybe I'll go ahead and either shot from our bottle brush trees or replace that with more mistletoe i don't know i think i need more bottle brush trees you guys can you really even have enough of those and i'm just coming in with some more brass candlesticks now i put that same garland back on i don't have any christmas garland hopefully i will be able to purchase some and change that out Let's go ahead and see if we can tackle one more piece in my home for this video. So come along with me. This is basically a little catch-all area. So I'm going to leave the baskets there. And that little piece on the back is just a metal bracket where my husband um, hangs his knives. But I'll put those all those back. But I'm coming in with this shutter that I had over my sink and some more red books here that I thrifted. And once again, I'm just going around my house, picking up things that I have stashed away and um, going through that process. I didn't buy anything new this year. I haven't been really thrifting. So I went ahead and did a little bit of crafting. I did these ornaments on a video and we're just going to go ahead and add those into our tree here. I'm going to add these little pieces as well. These are on my site, on my Facebook Marketplace, if you would like to purchase them. They're just hanging in a hall, on, um, on a wall in my hallway until they get purchased. So I'm just going to put them here for now. And then I'm going to come in with some brass here. And I'm just coming in with a single brass candle holder. And I'm just going to play around with that and find the positioning I like. And I'm going to keep this section simple. So here you go. Okay guys, I have one more spot I'm going to put 
I'm gonna decorate on top of a black shelf that I have and just add a little bit more elements up there. So well, let's go ahead and do that. I'm just showing you a few things that I'm going to be using. Um, I enlisted my son to come help me get this high piece here. And these are just the book stacks I created just for me. And here's another one of those urns with a little tree. And here we go. And a quick note to self, don't chew gum on camera. Okay, so what did you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Please share out with a friend. Let's have my subscribers go up. Um, I'm glad I was able to get you guys this video out and start decorating my home. Um, like I said, I'm not too much of a Christmas kind of decorator or anything like that. Um, but I wanted to share a little bit of the things I've created, the things I put together in my home. And I hope you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell for more DIY videos, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.